Warzone is coming out in a few days, and here are 13 different guns for you to try in your first few games. I'm going to be ranking each of these guns in terms of difficulty to control the recoil, as well as how hard the gun hits or how much damage that it does. So as we get into this, we have the first gun, which is the MCW. This gun is based off of the ACR from Modern Warfare 2 and has an extremely good time to kill as well as recoil management. This gun is a very easy gun for you to use. So I'd highly recommend that you would at least try this out if you struggle to control recoil. Now, on terms of recoil difficulty, I'm going to be putting this one at an easy as it barely has almost any recoil, especially as you control it. You can kind of get it down into a very small area. So now just a quick note is I'm going to be putting the high green rounds on pretty much every single class. Now, I don't know for sure that these are going to be the meta, but when since it has a bullet velocity and a damage range buff at the, at the expense of recoil control, I think these are going to be the meta. Now, if you don't know what bullet velocity is, it's basically just the distance that your bullet travels, so it would travel faster and farther. Now, damage range is going to be the damage that it does at the farther range. So for the build, high grain rounds, we're gonna have the 60 round mag. You also have the choice of the 40 round mag if you're playing a smaller map. Now, we have the VT Spitfire, which is recoil control and bullet velocity and damage range. And then we're gonna be having the Cyclone 16.5 barrel, which is bullet velocity and damage range. And that's kind of why I put that one on. Now, another other note is that we're going to be having the KR V4 1X riser. I don't know if this is going to be the meta going into the game, but you can always try the aim op scope and or the SZ recharge. All right, so now that we got the MCW out of the way, we're going to be using the best burst gun in the game, the DG. 58. Now I had to look at my notes to remember actually what the numbers were, but this gun is an absolute freaking tank. And in multiplayer, it is easily one of the best guns in the game, giving you a one to two burst onto somebody who does not have plates. Now, while I rate this gun in multiplayer as one of the best, I do not know how it will be once we go into war zone. So I'm gonna say that the recoil difficulty to control on this one is very easy as it pretty much does not have recoil at all. Um, and it just goes up just ever so slightly as you continue to keep shooting. Now, the damage I'm gonna put as unknown because as going we go into a war zone game, while that looks extremely good, um, killing these guys in two bursts or three bursts or maybe even four bursts with plates on, we don't know how that's gonna go into the actual game. I've noticed that there tends to not be a lot of burst metas in Warzone. And when there is, it tends to be very hit or miss. Now for the attachments on this gun, we're gonna have the VT Spitfire muzzle, which has bullet velocity and damage range and recoil control. And that's pretty much why I did it. Then undetected on radar, that's pretty cool. But honestly, I'm looking for a gun that shoots very straight and travels very fast and does a lot of damage. So this is why I also picked the ba next barrel, which is the DG LS 18 barrel, which again, bullet velocity and range, um, gun kick control and recoil control. Now I put the high grain rounds on again for the bullet velocity and damage range. And then the 40 round mag, which you can put the 60. If you are wanting to try it out with the 60, it does affect the guns aimed on sight speed, but ever so slightly. And I didn't really like it, um, recoil wise. Cause it did actually add a little bit more recoil. Um, so that's why I chose the other one. However, if you're wanting to put on the 60 round mag and try it out, and if it feels like it's pretty good for you just run with that we're gonna have the kr v4 1x riser again you can also choose the aim op scope or the sz recharge now the kv inhibitor now this gun is practically the dragonov from previous call of duties and now while at one shot with no plates, having two plates on, it will two shot your enemy. The reason that I think this gun might be good going into the new game and the reason that I'm going to be probably using it is because we previously had a meta where you were able to have a semi-automatic sniper rifle that was pretty much a two to three shot kill. And that was the Signal 50. And now 
in this game it might be a little bit different however i think that this is going to be a really good option if you're going to be trying sniping this gun's recoil difficulty is probably around a medium as if you continue to keep shooting the more recoil it will have however for the most part it's going to be practically very easy all you're going to be needing to do is since it kicks up into the right kind of go down into the left on your stick you always want to do the opposite of whatever the recoil pattern is now for the attachments on this one we're going to be using the cast dwarf heavy long barrel and this is for the recoil and the gun kick control otherwise this gun has a ridiculous amount of recoil so that's why i tried this one out specifically now if that one doesn't work for you i would recommend that you'd probably try the cast 10 584 this one has a lot more recoil but it does have the bullet velocity and range which is kind of maybe what we want going into the new war zone i don't know yet so this is what i'm going to be trying first day of now we got the high green rounds for the bullet velocity and damage range the fss ole v laser which is the sprint to fire speed in the aim down sights and then the true tack grip which is recoil gun kick control and then the aim idle sway now for the wasp swarm don't mistake this for the wasp nine because this thing is an absolute machine cracking their plates within the first 10 bullets and killing them within the next 10 bullet it has a 50 round mag but also has the choice of an 100 round mag however i didn't like the way that it fully felt with that as it just felt extremely heavy um but this might be the meta going into the game we're just gonna have to kind of find out so i recommend that you would try both of these the 100 and the 50 round mag now while this gun has a medium recoil difficulty it is extremely easy to control practically all you have to do is kind of pull down your stick and then maybe move it if it starts to really strafe off to the left just move it a little bit to the right and you're gonna kind of figure that out as you continue to use the gun um, the best way to learn how to control the recoil of a gun is by using a lot so remember that as you're going into these games now the damage is from medium to high as you can see um, it kills these bots extremely quickly I'm curious to see how if that will translate into the game now these are the attachments and now I as you saw I adjusted the to the 100 round mag but I previously had the 50 round mag this will probably be a lot better for resurgence maybe the 100 round mag for the big map we'll figure that out as we go now we have the high high grain rounds but another option is the hollow point rounds which makes the enemy's screen shake then we're going to be having the spiral flash hider which is recoil control all around so it just helps to center out your shots um and then we have the wasp reckless 90 long barrel um bullet velocity range gun kick control recoil control and aiming idle sway now the last one is the marauder grip with the gun kick control and recoil control now if you're looking to see a dramatic improvement in your own on personal gameplay i do one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions so if that is something that interests you i have a link in the description to book a 15 minute consultation to see if it's right for you now there's really no risk in doing this i have 100 guarantee or your money back that i can help you and i've been doing this for around three years and i've had zero unsatisfied customers so make sure you guys check it out if that's something that interests you but let's get back into the video now for the next one we're going to be having the kvd enforcer this gun is a one-shot kill to the head in multiplayer which is absolutely Absolutely freaking ridiculous now I think this could be one of the best guns in the game going into Warzone and I'm really excited to kind of try this one out Now this gun has a recoil difficulty of low to medium because it is quite literally one of the easiest guns to control but if you try to shoot it very fast it might be a little bit more difficult now for the class setup we got the VT suppressor bullet velocity and damage range and recoil control the KS dwarf with the recoil control and the gun kick control um the high grain rounds then we're going to be having the 15 round mag there is a 20 round mag if you want to try that as well i put the 15 round on i think it felt great um the 20 round doesn't make it feel too much different if that's something that you want to try then the sz recharge but you can also use the aim op or the k our v4 riser now for a pistol we have the dual cores dude these things are absolutely nutty with a very fast 
um, trigger rate and you're able to shoot these very quickly they do a lot of damage and as you guys can see from the clips here on the screen the gun shoots and kills very quickly versus the bots with 300 health this was a lot more difficult for me to test in the firing range so i tried to create a private match to kind of emulate what the health would be in warzone but i don't know if it is exact now the recoil control is very easy but you can build this in a way where it has a lot of recoil so i built it in a way where it's easy recoil but still does a lot of damage now the damage like i just said is actually high to very high i think that this gun could be the meta and they could be an absolute machines going into the new game now for the attachments on the core it is going to be the hmres mod suppressor which is just a bullet velocity with negative recoil control then we have the high grain rounds but there's potentially a few better options in here like maybe this aet rounds with crippling power it seems to be a like hollow point that also has crippling power but this one also inflicts wounds which is pretty much overpressured and hollow point together so maybe that could be a really good option but i put the high grain rounds on because that's what we pretty much did in every gun this video the fifth the 40 round mag my apologies the heavy match which i intentionally did because it gives you positive hip fire spread meaning that the the spread is going to be a little bit decreased and easier to shoot then we have the akimbos now speaking of good pistols we have the dual renettis i'm super excited to try this class setup out in an actual game in warzone because these things are so easy to use and so easy to shoot. And once people come into that close range line of sight, all you have to do is center your opponent, align that center dot up, aim and shoot, and then you gun them down. And is there a super fast fire rate and a very easy recoil control for the recoil difficulty? And then for the damage, they're going to be, again, a high to very high. As I imagine we go into Warzone, they're going to be doing a lot of damage. And now for the Renetti class setup, we have the short barrel giving you a positive hip fire spread the sprint to fire speed meaning you pull your guns up very quickly aim down sights and movement speed then we got the high grain ammunition again um the aet um rounds could be absolutely disgusting going into the new game we'll figure that out then we have the 50 round drum the akimbo renetti and then the folding stock this is for uh gun kick control that's kind of why i did it um so that because this gun tends to also have a good amount of recoil if you don't have these kinds of attachments on so make sure you guys try that out now this is the holger 556 meaning the ar version of the gun this is a very very good option even though it just got nerfed in the previous update this gun has a very fast strafe speed and very minimal recoil giving the making the recoil difficulty and easy i really think that this is just like the mcw going to be one of those guns that's extremely easy to use very good all the way around and possibly a meta for our first season of warzone now the damage on this gun is going to be a medium to high as we don't know fully going into the game but i have a feeling that it's going to be a very good option as it does not have much recoil and it's easy to use we have the vt spitfire muzzle then we're going to be having the cryo six match barrel for bullet velocity range recoil control gun kick control the high grain ammunition the 40 round mag because that's all you can have and then the kr v4 1x riser now we have the lmg version of the holger which is the holger 26 this thing i think is actually going to be better than the holger 556 as one it has the same strafe speed and easy recoil but it's also it seems to do a little bit more damage Damage. So I'm going to be putting the recoil difficulty of this one at an easy and then it's damage at a medium to high. Holger 26. The reason I also like this gun that I forgot to mention is not only can you have a hundred round drum, but it starts off with a 60. So I think that's another reason why it might be better than the 556 version. We have the high grain rounds, the X10 phantom hand stop which is sprint to fire aim down sides vertical and gun kick recoil control and then it's going to have the vt spitfire muzzle the holger factory barrel with recoil gun kick and bullet velocity and range and then the sz recharge but again you got your options now we have the tac eradicator now i put this one in here not because it's currently the best gun that we have seen but i have a feeling that since the there were two tac mudas in the previous game this one might be an absolute monster with a 
fire rate that actually increases off the first few shots this gun is an absolute machine however it does have some downfalls and i would say that it is recoil so our recoil difficulty on this one is going to be medium to high as the first six bullets are very easy but after that it tends to have a lot of very jumpy recoil now i tried to build this in a way where it was as easy as possible as to control but as you can see it's pretty freaking monstrous and it does change over time so it's kind of like a zigzag in very different directions which making it very difficult if you're kind of just spraying and praying however the damage is a medium to high as it is an LMG and most LMGs do a ton of damage. So I would definitely try this one out. If you want to scope on this, maybe take off the muzzle and then put your scope on because otherwise, if you kind of change any other attachment, this gun is just going to have way too much recoil. Um, and this, even just taking the barrel off kind of adds a lot of recoil. Now for the attachments, we have the Conquer 70 long barrel with bullet velocity and range. Then we're going to be having the VT Spitfire muzzle, the Hound. 9g grip which is all the way at the end with gun kick control and recoil control the high grain rounds with bullet velocity and damage range and then the fs as combat grip which has the gun kick control and the recoil control for the last gun it's going to be the bass b battle rifle now this one in multiplayer i had so much fun using because this thing absolutely blew everybody up as you can see this gun has a very difficult recoil control probably being a medium to hard at a long range it has so much kick and so much recoil it's very hard to control but in a medium to close range this gun's damage is very high now i'm curious again to see how it how it fares in warzone uh, as compared to multiplayer but as you can see these bots are getting fr absolutely fried their shields off in the first five bullets and then the rest killing the the opponent so make sure you guys try this one out you probably can play around with the builds i'm sure that there is going to be a a uh, submachine gun type build that you can kind of make with this as whenever you take off the scope and put on no stock it has a lot of strafe and it's still not too bad so i'm sure that people are going to kind of try to make something along those lines but these are the attachments for this class we got the kfr b4 1x riser the venom long barrel the skeletal vertical grip for its vertical recoil gun kick and sprint to fire speed that's a really important one the sprint to fire speed the high grain ammunition bullet velocity and damage range and then the 45 round mag um, as that's the maximum that you can have now if you want to check out a movement guide that i created make sure you guys click the link on the screen but otherwise have a great day